Angst vor dem Fest und hast du am Eins vor dem Alter So ungefähr Zu viel und ich wohne auf deine Brust Ich werde bis allein vor dem Blut Ja, 20 vor ich denke an Leute, die was ich kann 15 vor ich denke an Leute, die was ich kann 5 vor und ich denke an gar nichts anderes Mein Fall an meinem Kopf ist zu fallen hier It's Monday, the 4th of July, 2022, and I'm sitting here in what you could basically call my own store. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's the gist of it. I haven't filmed much, there was a lot to do. There was a lot to take care of, a lot to prepare, and quite honestly, I'm still not finished setting everything up. Um, but, let me show you around. It's the same space where we had our little pop-up with our friend Anzu. And now we took over for at least six months. Got some store exclusive items, you know, like these babe t-shirts and some 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 vis vim, some some exclusive beam stuff, beams hard. I mean exclusive to our store at least. We got some of our dopest magazine covers on display. We got artwork by the homie Jan and there's some of some of his record collection. Some rare Japanese city pop records. Here's some of my music. The music is not for sale, that's the only thing that is not for sale. But I don't know, maybe we're gonna offer it up for sale soon. You know, I said I said before in my Instagram stories that I wanna go crazy with toys. So here I have a selection of toys that are at the moment only available in store. I try to upload them as soon as I can to the website. This is a little installation by my dear friend Elijah who has his own jewelry line called Come Across Come Across Hold on Like this Check it out It makes some sick stuff but Honestly, and I'm not saying that just because it's my friend This is me. Got some more mags. I think I have like a hundred or so mags and books in the back that I that I need to figure out how to display properly. This is Pleased Studio. It's also by Elijah who makes the jewelry. This is the only store in the world where you can buy this stuff right now. And these are all one of one, or at least these are all the last ones left. So come through, check this out. A lot of the stuff is hand worked. Nothing to say, a lot to show. real sick stuff so yeah this is basically what the store looks like right now I'm not I'm not happy with this center piece at the moment I have a few books on here and then this little little babe 
Uh, these catalog cards. But my plan is to actually, you know, put, put this little block in the center of the carpet and put a big bonsai on top of it. But I think that's gonna be quite expensive. I have to do some research, hit up some spots, some, some, some stores and check out um, how much that's gonna cost. But yeah, that's basically the store. I'm not gonna show you the back right now because it's a mess. This space is actually the space of Alike. It's a uh, part of the Alike network of stores. You know, there's the Alike store, then there's A+, then there's uh, Billy's, the sandwich shop, and the APG, which is the Alike pop-up gallery. Me and the owner of Alike, Fite, you know, we, we go back like, I don't know, seven or eight years at this point. Um, we've worked together in, in, in many different ways. Uh, I'm not gonna go into detail. So yeah, we, we came to the conclusion that, that me, like I have something to show, I have something to offer. Uh, he has a space, why not uh, get together and, and open a store, open a store for Vanitasism. And at the same time, we're gonna use the space for Fundament. Fundament is our little art project, collective, whatever you wanna call it. It's uh, Elijah, Jan, and me. Um, you guys are gonna meet all three of them. Jan, you have already met, but I don't think you have met Elijah much in these vlogs. Uh, Hamburg, man, there's almost two million people, but not a lot happening. Um, it's not very relevant internationally. And, and even locally, a lot of people, a lot of people have, you know, kind of given up on Hamburg as a as a city for culture. You know, of course, there's a lot happening, but I mean, for me, when it comes to like the fashion that I'm into and the music and the the, the creativity and the art that I'm into, Hamburg doesn't offer much. The, the, the only one who's actually doing it proper is Fite from Alike. I'm gonna show you all three of his stores soon. He's the only one to me in Hamburg who's doing it right. And there's also Blue Sleeve. They do archive, avant-garde Japanese fashion. I'm gonna show you that store as well. Uh, they have a lot of vintage Yoji Yamamoto, Comte des Garçons, Isemiyake, crazy stuff. Really, really, really good stuff. Um, and they've been doing it for years as well. So basically it's just Fita and his Alike network and Blue Sleeve to me. There's some other decent stores here and there, but other than what I told you, there's nothing in this city of almost 2 million people. And for a while I was frustrated. I was like, yo, I need to leave the city. I want to go to Tokyo. I want to go to Paris, to New York, and then I'm going to be the shit, <laughs> you know? Uh, which is stupid. Just just a while ago, I realized what what blessing this is that there's nothing happening in this city. There's like 1.8 million people living in Hamburg, and there's no one doing some major cultural moves, uh, which is a blessing. There's 1.8 million large audience. They're hungry for for events, for for exhibitions for get-togethers but no one's doing it like they should basically what we're trying to do with fundament our little art art collective elijah jan and me we want to use this space for exhibitions for uh, community meetings for screenings for little pop-ups for all kinds of events listening sessions yeah no i remember where i was going uh, I was frustrated. I thought I had to leave the city to become someone and then I realized that If if I'm not feeling my own hometown If my own hometown is not as as dope as I would like my my The, the city that I that I live in to be then it's partially my own fault 
<laughs> if nothing is happening in Hamburg, then it's my fault. You know? Like, I, I can't sit here and wait for someone else to do something. If I want a store with archive stuff, then I should just open it myself. Of course, it's much easier said than done, but hey, we, 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 we did it now. You know, it's been, a, it's been a long journey, but sooner or later, if you actually um, put your mind to it and, and pursue the work, it's gonna happen. You know, if you put out the good energy towards your project, it's gonna come back. Um, this is what happened for me. Like for two years, I've been working in a basement. Like you have never, I don't think I've ever shown the basement in any vlog or videos. And that's why I make vlogs so, so rarely because, and I always only make them when I go somewhere else because I'm, I was, I was always embarrassed to show the basement because it's not dope. It doesn't look good. Uh, it's a mess. There's also, there was also my bed. I mean, it's still there. I still sleep there. Um, like my, my studio, my, my photo, like where I was taking photos and my office, my stock, uh, everything was in the same space. My bed, uh, my TV where I was, you know, watching movies at night, everything was in the same space. I was, I was getting out of bed, rolling, rolling over uh, to, my, to my desk and started working and then you know, slide back into bed and, and maybe work from there, uh, which was a bad place, which was, which was nothing that I was proud of showing. You know, I was, I was proud of my, I shouldn't say proud because I don't want to have pride in my heart. Um, I, was, I was content with my work. Uh, I liked what I was doing and, and I thought that I was doing it to the best of my abilities and I was working a lot. And two years later, it got me the space. Hey, if you see this, if you see this, if you're in Germany, if you're in, in Hamburg, if you're in, in, in Berlin, if, you're, if you ever plan to come to the city within the next six months, like from July to December 2022, make sure to drop by the store. Come to the store, talk to me. You don't have to buy anything. You know, we can just grab some magazines, take a look inside, talk about archive fashion, archive Japanese culture, um, and all kinds of culture, past, present, and in the future. Um, I'm not just, you know, hell bent on 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 the past. You know, I'm not I'm not that kind of guy. You know, I enjoy current stuff as well. I enjoy futuristic things. Yeah, but now that I have that we have the store, that we have the space, man, you can expect a lot of content, a lot of content. A lot of content, my ass. It's August 19th <laughs> and I still haven't uploaded the first video. Um, but you know what? I don't care. I'm gonna, I'm gonna record much more. I'm gonna upload much more, even if it's just two minute videos, five minute videos. Um, I'm gonna do it, I promise. It's gonna be good stuff. Um, I haven't recorded in the last one and a half months, but we had some crazy stuff in here, some crazy new products, some some dope stuff that that came in and is already sold, so, so I can't show you. Um, but we have some other dope stuff that you probably haven't seen yet, like this 1996 Combi Ensemble Blazer amazing with the camouflage what else do we have that you probably have not seen my own t-shirts are finally available in store very dope check them out i almost said something but i'm gonna keep it low-key for now you will probably see soon enough what's what's gonna happen with my with my own brand let me end this here. I want to upload more frequently and show you more good stuff. <clears throat> oh, and by the way, we got the bonsai now. <laughs>